The acclaimed biographer George Weigel has published the last part of his biography on John Paul II. This book covers the last six years of the Pope's life and sheds light on his fight with communism based on new information from previously classified documents. These documents demonstrate the magnitude and the depth of wickedness, really, of the communist war against Karol Wojtyla, Pope John Paul II, for almost 40 years. These, this includes everything from black bail plots to the obvious assassination attempt of 1981. This book touches on the subject of John Paul II's efforts to denounce any ideas of a clash of religions after the attacks of September 11th. The Pope was also vocally opposed to the U.S.-led invasion of Iraq in 2003. In preparation for this book, Weigel spoke with John Paul II about the sexual abuse crisis in the Church. I discussed the abuse crisis of 2002 and the Pope's response to that in considerable detail in this book. Uh, but I am not going to turn the entire life of John Paul II, the most consequential pope of the last 500 years, into a story of what he did or did not do in response to what he knew about the sexual abuse crisis. When the pope was informed of what was necessary to do in the United States, he did it. Period. John Paul II was known as being a great statesman, making more trips abroad than any other pope. He is also widely viewed as being a central figure in the collapse of European communism. I suspect he will be remembered for is for living a singular life that somehow embodied the human drama of the second half of the 20th century in a quite unique uh, way. Uh, if Winston Churchill's life somehow embodied the first half of the 20th century, uh, John Paul II's life embodied the second half of the 20th century in a unique way. This book completes a promise that Weigel made to John Paul II before he passed away, saying that he would finish the Pope's story.